like that. What WWE would have to do is give this match at least six months of promotion. And if this match were going to happen at WrestleMania 30 next year in 2014, Dave Bautista and Brock Lesnar would have to be promoting it now on WWE television, especially on live editions of the Raw Super Shows and upcoming pay-per-view events. So if Dave Bautista and Brock Lesnar is going to happen for WrestleMania 30, Dave Bautista is going to have to return sometime between now and the conclusion of 2013 if this match is coming up at WrestleMania 30 in 2014. I really would love to see Dave Batista versus Brock Lesnar and we previously talked about it here on our YouTube channel. We described it as the match that needed to happen at WrestleMania or an upcoming WWE pay-per-view and I stated that I really didn't care where it happened or under what circumstances this match took place and we're talking about it again because of all the rumors that are popping up on professional wrestling discussion forums, more especially than professional wrestling news websites. And wrestling fans are going as far as to make their own promotional graphics to promote Dave Batista versus Brock Lesnar. And that's how excited all of you are to see this match. Now, I haven't gone as far as to create a promotional graphic for Dave Batista and Brock Lesnar. What I did was I took a previously created promotional graphic and put a couple of uh, text words into it uh, to make a video distribution. And we're doing it again. Uh, because I notice how excited all you wrestling fans are for it. Now, there are a number of other matches floating around for WrestleMania 30, and last year we talked about a lot of fantasy matches for WrestleMania 29. CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin is another match that wrestling fans are talking about for WrestleMania 30. The Rock versus The Undertaker is another one. John Cena versus The Undertaker. The Undertaker versus Ryback. Ryback versus Goldberg. A number of them I could throw your way. But if you were to rate the dream matches for WrestleMania 30, uh, your top five dream matches. This certainly would find its way into the top three uh, most talked about dream matches for this year's WrestleMania. Certainly it would take the number one spot debatable uh, between other matches, but I really think that this match would somehow find its way within the top three if you were to drive a top five list of fantasy matches that have been talked about the most for WrestleMania 30. And how can you not have an event as prestigious as WrestleMania 30 without a big match like Dave Batista? versus Brock Lesnar. It's been the focal point of conversation for at least the last seven years, at least ever since 2005 when Dave Batista first challenged Brock Lesnar and there was recently an off-air teaser between these two superstars as you can tell from the graphic we are distributing for you on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Jonathan Clark 22 and just as Dave Batista and The Rock's teaser prior to WrestleMania 29 left wrestling fans with the impression that we would see Dave Batista and The Rock cross paths for the WWE title when The Rock would return after WrestleMania 29. This match teaser is doing the same kind of thing, so it's time to stop keeping things from wrestling fans and give them what they want to see. Can you imagine how high the pay-per-view buy rates would be for Brock Lesnar versus Dave Batista or even The Rock versus The Undertaker with The Rock challenging The Undertaker for his WrestleMania streak at WrestleMania 30? I'm hoping the Undertaker has an opponent at his level for WrestleMania 30, and The Rock or John Cena could give him that incredible WrestleMania 30 match, especially if The Undertaker is going to retire at WrestleMania 30. I'd much rather see The Rock and The Undertaker go one-on-one -on -one than The Undertaker and Kane facing The Shield in a two-on-three handicap match for WrestleMania. That will be the first handicap match The Undertaker has been featured in since WrestleMania 19 when himself uh, took the, an A-Train, or himself and Nathan Jones, rather, were supposed to take on the Big Show and A-Train. It was changed into a handicap match after Nathan Jones had been eliminated from the equation for a brief amount of time. It was then The Undertaker taking on the Big Show and A-Train in a two-on-one handicap match that was won by The Undertaker. If you recall, Fred Durst, who was doing his entrance music at the time, played out The Undertaker to the ring. And then Nathan Jones returned after being ambushed backstage on Sunday Night Heat to assist The Undertaker at picking up the win. That would be the first handicap match The Undertaker would be featured in in years at WrestleMania. Preferably, I'd rather see The Undertaker keep up with these one-on-one -on -one matches at WrestleMania. No matter if it was The Undertaker versus Sheamus or Ryback or The Undertaker facing The Rock or John Cena or even the two of them in a triple threat match. I'd even go for a triple threat match with The Undertaker in it because The Undertaker's never been featured in a triple threat match for a major championship or for his streak in the history of the many times that he's competed uh, at WrestleMania. There are a lot of matches that I would love to see come into fruition for this year's WrestleMania. And who do you think would win uh, between Dave Batista and Brock Lesnar? That was a recent poll that was thrown up on our website. The results of that poll were very interesting, but I'll ask you the question again as part of our weekly poll for this week's radio show. Who do you think would win? 
uh, between Dave Batista and Brock Lesnar. Do you think it would be Dave Batista, or do you think it would be Brock Lesnar with how much momentum he's gained with recent victories over the likes of Triple H and CM Punk at this year's SummerSlam event, the 26th annual SummerSlam being promoted by Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk. A lot of wrestling fans are expecting Brock Lesnar to return as a fan favorite after his victory over CM Punk and form some kind of partnership with CM Punk and himself. Uh, that would be very interesting and a unique swerve from all the times that Brock Lesnar's been a heel character throughout his career. For at least 50 to 75 percent of his career, he's been a heel character as opposed to a fan favorite from the earlier half of his career when he was the WWE Champion for the second time after he regained the title from Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19 when he came in to the WWE. He was a heel character who went undefeated for over eight months uh, before he was defeated, and he won the WWE Championship during his undefeated streak and didn't lose for eight and a half months. That was how impressive Brock Lesnar was. Dave Batista went a number of months before he was actually pinned in a match, and then he went a number of months when he won the World Championship before actually being defeated for the World Heavyweight title during his first reign, uh, which came in 2005. And as I said, you know, I wouldn't care if it was for the WWE or World title or even to who determined who was the number one contender for the World or WWE title. I just want to see this match happen. I wouldn't even care under what circumstances this match happens under. Now, justifiably, you would expect a good storyline to be created from this feud between Brock Lesnar and Dave Batista. That is what wrestling fans deserve. That doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see a good storyline or even a good match between these two because sometimes when a match is over-promoted, which I'm expecting this match to be when it eventually happens for WWE fans. Sometimes when a match is over-promoted, sometimes it turns out to be a disaster block, and uh, the match isn't ex really what you expected it to be, and this is probably uh, the road Dave Batista and Brock Lesnar's match would head down if it were to happen. Uh, but what this match really needs is six to seven months of promotion and a good storyline. You can even afford to have them uh, feud over who would be the better champion or just who is the better wrestler, you really have to do something to help this feud get over it. If you have six to seven months of promotion, yes, it would probably be a promotion overkill on WWE's part, but at least you would have time to make this match seem good on paper and make the match be actually legitimately good and probably one of the best matches in either WrestleMania, SummerSlam, or Survivor Series history. I would even go, uh, when I think about it, for this match at the Royal Rumble with how prestigious the Royal Rumble has been for the last 26, 27 years. I really wouldn't care uh, where it happened, either on the road to WrestleMania at the actual WrestleMania 30 event, or as part of the biggest event after WrestleMania SummerSlam. I really wouldn't care uh, where it happens, but preferably as a wrestling fan, where would you like to see Dave Batista and Brock Lesnar take place? On the road to WrestleMania 30 at the actual WrestleMania 30 event, or an event like SummerSlam or Survivor Series, Throw us up your comments as part of our ongoing conversation of this match over the past couple of months. A previous video blog has been archived here on this YouTube channel. Let us know what you think by leaving us some comments at the bottom of this YouTube video or for any of our YouTube videos found throughout our YouTube channel with over 20,000 channel views. YouTube.com slash JonathanClark22. Throw us a creative hashtag at JonathanClark1 on Twitter with over 18,000 tweets and with over 1,000 subscribers on our Facebook page. Let us know what you think. Dave Batista versus Brock Lesnar, Facebook.com slash HGW Entertainment. I would go for it at this point because of how much conversation and most of all attention this match has received. There is no denying the fact that this match has been talked about more than any other dream match that's been discussed for WrestleMania 30. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin versus CM Punk still in the pool of potential matches for this year's WrestleMania. The Undertaker versus either John Cena or The Rock. Ryback, even Goldberg is in there. We have The Undertaker, of course, uh, being always the focal point uh, of WrestleMania every year. The Rock versus Dave Batista is another match with the WWE title that is rumored would love uh, to see either one of these matches, but preferably if you were to come up with a list of top five matches that have been discussed the most and matches that you want to see most of all at WrestleMania, somewhere within the top three, you have to include Dave Batista versus Brock Lesnar. Just the size of these two individuals, how they both been impressive from their respective careers in the early thousands. I want to determine who the best wrestler was of the early thousands, the year of 2002, from the years of 2002, right up until when Brock Lesnar left the WWE and closed the doors on the first half 
of his WWE career. Who was the best wrestler of 2002 and the early thousands? I think that could be determined no matter if the match was for a major title or to determine who was the number one contender. That is something that needs to be determined. Even if these wrestlers meet only once in wrestling history, there is room to determine that. And if you want to, you can throw in a match to determine who would be the number one contender or who would be the WWE World Champion on a date to be yet determined. I want to see it happen, and I think it's a match that wrestling fans have wanted for years. And that's why I thought I would throw up an additional video commentary to coincide with the previous one that we did for you here on YouTube.com slash Jonathan Clark 22. We do that occasionally. We talk about a topic more than once uh, on this radio show to illustrate just how critical uh, these issues are. And this is a critical issue in the professional wrestling industry that needs a point of resolvement and its climax met. We're probably a long way away from seeing Dave Batista versus Brock Lesnar at an event like WrestleMania 30 or an up-and-coming SummerSlam or Survivor Series. But it's a match that wrestling fans have wanted ever since at least 2005. And really, wrestling fans are being deprived of even seeing this match. I really want to see it happen, and I want to see if I know who is the best wrestler of years like 2002, 2003, 2004. And the only way we'll find out who is the best wrestler of a year like 2002 is by finally having this match come into fruition for an event like WrestleMania 30. There is room for this match to happen at this year's WrestleMania, and we're a long way away from probably seeing it. Uh, but by not giving it to wrestling fans, you really are depriving them of a match they've wanted to see ever since at least 2005. So join the conversation on our Facebook page with over a thousand subscribers, facebook.com slash Entertainment. Follow us on Twitter at JonathanClark1 with over 18,000 tweets. And let us know what you think by dropping us a few comments for our second video distribution on Dave Batista vs. Brock Lesnar at an event like WrestleMania 30 with over 20,000 channel views and over 1,000 archived videos for you. YouTube.com slash JonathanClark22, the newly redistributed YouTube channel of HEW Entertainment. Cardale, Official, and Jordan are coming at you after the break. I can't choose Dave Batista vs. Brock Lesnar, a match that needs to happen at WrestleMania 30. When something takes place in the world of professional wrestling, you know where to go. WrestleZone.com WrestleZone.com Covering all the latest breaking news daily. Interactive forums where you can chat with thousands of other wrestling fans. Exclusive editorials and audio features by some of today's top